what's up it is your girl april back with another message i just got out of church um i was sitting here getting ready going to the market and grab something um to eat kind of hungry but um god has been working on me lately um dealing with patience and faith and you know just trusting in his word and all that good stuff like that and so um in me trying to build my faith and increase faith and um i was thinking back to you know when they say that you know he said all you need is a mustard um faith the size of a mustard seed and i'm like what would that look like to me like how can i you know display that i'm having a mustard size seed of i mean a mustard seed size of faith what is that to me and um I was thinking about, you know, deadlines and timing, and that's what really gets me overwhelmed, and then that's what gets me doubting, like, this haven't happened yet, I got this amount of days, and X amount of, you know, this is due this time, or that is due around this time, I still don't have this, I still, and that time, and me keep focusing on that, is what can cause my faith to start dwindling, and it looks like God is not, you know, fulfilling the promise, or He's not going to do what I'm praying and expecting of him to do. And first of all, he don't owe me anything. Um, but his grace and his mercy is what, you know, gets me through. So that's what I just had to start learning uh, for myself. And that's how I was like, I need to have faith the size of a mustard seed. I, I want to let God know that I have faith in him. So what I started doing in my prayer time and when I'm praying and asking God to provide and be my provider or asking for things and expecting or believing in things for him is I just said Lord if you can just give me what I need for today I can't think about tomorrow I can't think about next week because first of all like it goes back to what I was saying like God doesn't owe me you know to open up my eyes or you know tomorrow he, does, he doesn't owe that to me like we don't know the, the time nor day when we're going to leave here. So how can I just assume that, you know, next week I'm going to even be here. But, or even later on tonight for that matter. But it's just the fact that while I'm here and I said, Lord, if you can, if, if I'm here today and thank you, Lord, that you allow me to make it to today. And if you get me through today, I can live for, you know, we can worry about tomorrow then I can live for tomorrow. Just order my steps for the day. How can I be a better servant to you? How can I service you today, Lord? How can, you know, I want you to use me for today. And that's, that's first of all, I, I want to open myself up to God and allow him to use me before I can even try to ask for anything. And then when I ask, I just say, Lord, you know, you said that you will supply all my needs according to your riches and glory. I believe that you're going to do that. And that's what my faith the size of a mustard seed because I was like, I know if I can trust and believe in him to get me through the day that we can work on tomorrow if he just order my steps, if he just leads me on the path of righteousness for the day, if he just be a lamp under my feet and a light to my path for today and get me through the whatever it is that I need today. If I got a meal for the day, if I got a home to live in for the day, if I got, you know, food on my table, clothes on my back. My utilities, my lights and stuff is on. If if he's getting me through today, I can say thank you, Lord, for what you're doing for me today. I'm thanking you and I'm trusting and believing that you're going to get me through the day. And that's what how I just started practicing and building my faith. It's starting to help me every day because now I'm just waking up and saying, Lord, just get me through the day. If you get me through the day, Lord. Provide all my, you. You said you my Jehovah Jireh. I'm trusting and believing you, and I know that you will. You know you will fulfill your word. Like your word won't come back to you void. You said that you will supply all my riches. I mean, I supply all my needs according to your riches and glory. You are my Jehovah Jireh. You will provide for me if I seek you first in the kingdom of heaven. You know all those other things shall be added to me. It's like I'm. I want to seek you first and. I want to have faith and stand on your word that you're going to do what you said you're going to do for me. And if you do that for me today, you know, tomorrow I do the same thing. One step at a time. One day at a time. Order my steps. Just one day at a time. 
And that's me and how I exercise faith the size of a mustard seed. So I don't have to worry about, you know, the promises and deadlines and dates because I, I don't even try to put that and see that far into it because that battle is not for me. That I give it and surrender and submit myself to the Lord. And I just, that's how I started, you know, trying to yoke myself to him and allow him to take on those burdens because he said his yoke is easy his burden is light so and he wants us to cast our cares onto him so that's how i just started developing that kind of faith just like i know if god will carry me through the day then i can make it to tomorrow and if he just supply all my needs that i need today that's all i can focus on is today so when he if me and my children are fed and we eating and I might only got five dollars in my cash app or something like that. If that's what I have, and I can go to McDonald's and get us a five dollar meal, we can split that up or whatever it may be. Ten dollars. I'm just trying to use things as an example. As long as it's something, and I know it might not be what I necessarily want in my pantry at, at home. It might not necessarily be what I want. It might not be, uh, you know, that crab cake. I love a crab cake from Moe's here, Baltimore crab cake and some uh, wings or something like that or some crab imperial, you know, something like that. But it may not be that. It may not be that crab cake dinner from GNMs or something like that. But as long as I have something and it's he's supplying the need and he's getting me through the day, I'm able to breathe. I got air to breathe. breathe. I got clean water to drink. It might not be, you know, what I want to drink. But I got water. I'm, I'm not thirsty. I'm not dying of thirst. I got air. I'm able to breathe. My, you know, clean air at home. And, you know, I'm alive and I'm well. I'm able-bodied. So if he's getting me through the day and I'm living for today, then I can trust and believe. And that's all I need is the faith and knowing that God is getting me through the day. And if he does that and get me through the day and be my provider, you know, I'm on to the next day. And that's how I just start building up my faith. It's just like, and I hope that just encourages somebody else who is down in their faith. Um, you know, you, you're stressing, you got anxiety, and you're worrying about how God is going to fulfill things for you or how you're going to make it through or this doesn't seem like, you know, God is going to do, you know, what he said he's going to do or what I'm asking. Or I, my prayers are not being answered. God, please, where are you? Even if he seems silent and you, you, you don't and you don't seem like he's showing up for you and you don't see any sign of it, no sign of hope. But if, if even if in his silence, you have that word. So just refer back to your Bible. And, and read something that is encouraging and motivating and have faith and just say, God, please just get me through the day. Let him get you through the day. And I promise it'll just take your mind off of all the other things. And you don't have to worry about those deadlines and dates of this bill is due. Or I don't have enough money to, to pay for food for next week. Where am I going to get this money? If he's providing for you, and that day, and you say, Lord, let's, you know, provide the things that I need today. He said, he is your shepherd, and you shall not want. So, let him do what he's going to do. If you keep that faith, the size of a mustard seed, and believe, and, and, and hope, and have faith in what he's going to accomplish for you in today, you can live for tomorrow. You can, you can face tomorrow. Because Jesus lives. Like that song says, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. So just trust and believe and have faith in him and his ability. And if he gets you through the day, then you can just say, I got faith, Lord, that you're going, you know, you got me through yesterday. I got faith. We're going to let the sun shine on me again today. We're going to have a good day in Christ Jesus my day i'm blessed i'm highly favored i'm here another day i'm alive today i'm well today i'm able body today i got the activity of my limbs the functions of my organs you know my five senses is working lord i thank you 
And that's how you just start building up your faith. And just try to take it one day at a time. And that one day at a time is just like, you know, a mustard seed. That's all you need. That's my word. I don't want to ramble on. I hope this helps and encourages someone. Because um, for this past week, it's just been helping me. It really has been helping me. And it helped take the pressure off of me worrying about, I got two weeks left. I got this day. Or, Lord, how am I going to do this? And how? Lord, just get me through the day. That if you get me through the day, that's my faith. I got faith in, I'm faith, I got faith in believing in you. That you're going to do what I need you to do. What I need, you're going to fulfill the needs that I have for today. Because you already made it. You already said in your word that you're going to supply all my needs according to your riches and glory. And if you supply it for the day, I got faith and I believe that you're going to do it again tomorrow. We're going to show up tomorrow. If I, if I open up my eyes, God willing, if you let me live to see tomorrow, I'm going to have faith in you to do it for me tomorrow. And then, then the next day. And that's how I'm just going to carry it day by day. And that is my way of building my faith and having faith the size of a mustard seed. That God can do exceedingly and abundantly above all. He can move mountains. He will hold my hand in the valley and he will make a way. Because he is Jehovah Jireh, my provider and your provider too. Don't ever forget it. And just remain faithful. And I know things get hard and you sink down. And it seems sometimes he's silent and that he's not going to answer your prayers. But I tr but trust and believe that he gets you through the day. He, he's the same God. What did he say? Yesterday, today, forever. He's, he's going to be the same God. He does not change. So that's enough for you to keep the faith. Faith the size of a mustard seed. Um, God loves you. Jesus loves you and so do I. Have a blessed day.